Hi everyone and welcome to the Backyard Art School. So today is Friday and it's just before the long weekend and I'm going away with my son camping. I'm currently uh, packing up our camper van and uh, we're going to go and head off uh, to bush. Um, but what's going to happen is um, I wanted to make an announcement today. So I'm not able to do a full video because I have been busy with trying to catch up with work uh, during the week so that I could then go away uh, for the full weekend and not have to work. And, um, and so this is going to be a shorter video, but it is an important video, which is going to be announcing a new video series, which is going to be the Earth Guardian series. And this will be based on um, the focus that we have in term two, which is on threatened species. Uh, and what it's going to be is going to be showcasing all of the threatened species that we have created artworks for. And this is going to be the lead up to National Threatened Species Day, which is on September the 7th. Uh, because in November I am planning on creating a lovely challenge, an art challenge, um, which will be uh, focused on threatened species and giving art classes so that people uh, can learn how to uh, draw, and sketch and draw and create artworks of threatened species that I have created for our online um, membership as well. So. Um, just to talk a little bit more about the background behind um, the threatened species and that why I've, I have a full term dedicated to it. Um, it started in 2016 and I was uh, at school was approached by Forest Media um, to create artworks which was uh, based on the threatened species of New South Wales. And from that, they wanted us to enter into a competition, into their competition, uh, which is the Children's Threatened Species Art Competition. Um, and with that, uh, they would be presenting the awards on the 7th of September at Parliament House, which they have been doing every year since. Uh, and then also this exhibition was going to be shown um, in Canberra, uh, and also the Botanical Gardens. Uh, it also was exhibited at um, the Coal Loader, the Centre of Sustainability in North Sydney, and for it to be a touring exhibition around Australia. And this is where it started, where I had uh, Lorraine Bauer, who was um, creating the, the Threatened Species Art Competition. And she came to our studio and she did a, a, an amazing presentation showing uh, the animals and it really brought awareness to the importance of showcasing um, this sort of information to students uh, to understand um, you know, the threats that are happening uh, now with our environments um, and how it's affecting uh, animals and plants. Uh, but from that, it's been a really positive experience over the last seven years of creating amazing artworks. Um, we have had uh, an incredible learning experience through the development of the artworks. When the students are learning to draw uh, or create a design for an artwork, they're also understanding the effects of whatever happens within an animal's environment, how it can affect the animal itself. And the thing is, I would like to call this series the Earth Guardians because it is uh, future generations. We are actually Earth Guardians ourselves. We should be. We should be looking after our Earth every day. And our children are also the future generation of Earth Guardians. I think this is an incredibly important and powerful um, area to teach children uh, when creating art as a theme because not only do they learn about facts such as in New South Wales alone, we have over a thousand species which are threatened. Um, they will also learn why they're threatened. The children, they love animals uh, and I, I'm sure that adults love animals and that's the whole reason why on our long weekends we go to the bush so we can enjoy the wildlife and, and enjoy the pristine of when we do go away for holidays. And we want to continue to be able to have that opportunity to do that and for that not to be 
uh, polluted and destroyed. The Earth Guardian series is going to be a positive showcase of this, first of all, the stunning works that um, our students have created over the last seven years. But it is also them looking at these beautiful animals that we have in nature. They are right on our doorstep. We have so many and I'm going to be showcasing the Earth Guardian series um, as well as what we're doing each term in our art classes because one of the things is that if you can see behind me, these are some of the works um, that have been created by our students actually in my office. And uh, what we have here is I've got the glossy black cockatoo and you can see there's bulldozers and they've, um, they've got bulldozers as well at clearing the land and trees and the glossy black cockatoo has flown away. So with creating this artwork, just as one example, um, students really have to think through the concepts of what story they'd like to tell with the artwork that they create. And by doing that, they're having to research all the reasons of why a certain uh, species is being threatened and how to create a visual story really gets them thinking. And each, each week that they're working on this artwork, they're always thinking about, you know, how this is impacting. And they're also learning how to create an artwork as part of a group. So um, the artworks that I've created uh, here have been group works, so they work as a team uh, to come up with ideas, concepts, and then to work as a team to create the actual artwork in itself. And I have these artworks hanging on my wall, and every day that I wake up in the morning and I look at these beautiful artworks that do have this poignant message of the threats um, that are impacting these species, Every day I wake up and I think, how can I choose wisely? What can I do daily, which is mindful of looking after our environment? Uh, because really, at the end of the day, it is our choices of what we as consumers buy or what we do as far as where we live or how we live. That is what is impact impacting on the earth. And there are many options of ways um, to have less of a uh, impact. We are seeing a change in the tides of where we are really at a point. We really need to focus on these things. As I said, I'm just packing up, getting ready to go bush myself to enjoy a pristine environment. And I hope that you enjoy our Earth Guardian series, which will be starting next week.